Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the different types of classification that was put forward by different scientists. So first, let's start with the first type of classification system which was put forward, which is known as the artificial system of classification. So based on this classification, it actually uses one or two morphological characteristics for grouping. That is characters which is easily observable from the surface or from outside uh, the organism. So these are the based on the morphological characteristics of a particular organism. Now this artificial system also uses habit and habitat for this purpose. Based on this artificial system, the famous scientist Aristotle, he divided organisms present that is the organisms he observed into two groups. First of all, based on the presence or absence of red blood, he divided the organisms into anima that is organisms which had red blood and the other was anima which is organisms without red blood. Aristotle also tried to uh, classify organisms based on their habitat. For example, he classified into three major groups aquatic, terrestrial and aerial. Aquatic for example, uh, organisms like fish, whales, terrestrial like organisms like uh, reptiles, cattle and aerial organisms like birds and bats. Now let us try to discuss what were the drawbacks of this artificial system of classification. First of all, the very important drawback is it does not study homology. That is, it is not considering the relationships, evolution relationships or the uh, relationship which considers the origin of a particular organ. So it does not consider homology or similarities. It does, it considers only one or two morphological traits with which has no actual status of a taxa. Now, these characters used, which was used by the artificial system of classification shows evolution. So, we have already discussed that it does not show homology and the characters considered in artificial system shows evolution. So, it does not reflect any natural relationship. This is a very important point. Now, the some characteristics get changed with the change in environment. A very good example is the property of being biennial or annual habitat in case of radish. Now, in order to overcome these drawbacks of the artificial system, a new system of classification was put forward, which is named as the natural system of classification. Natural system of in natural system of classification, a number of characters are compared. Most importantly, characters based on the similarities and dissimilarities grouping was done, which was actually not considered in case of artificial system. Now, in natural system, they use characters which are relatively constant. And what were those types of characters? They, the characters which were used were morphological, anatomical, cytological, etc. So, these are the characteristics which are more or less constant. Now, the characters which were used here, they helped in bringing out maximum number of similarities in a group. And in natural system, it also brings out comparable differences, uh, differences with each other, each other of organisms belonging to different groups. Since this uh, natural system of classification is considering both similarities and dissimilarities, it also helps in bringing out differences from different groups. Now let us talk about why natural system of classification is better than the artificial system of classification which we have already discussed. Now in natural system very importantly each and every organism is stud studied unlike the overall study which was being done in case of artificial system of classification. In natural system a comparative study is performed that is as we have discussed they compare in a natural system different groups are compared based on the similarities and dissimilarities in different characteristics. Now in natural system natural relationship amongst organisms are also considered. So here natural relationships are considered which was not being considered in case of artificial system. The related organisms are only placed in a group that is if some organism have some related or uh, similar characteristics then only it comes and belongs to a particular group which was not being done in case of artificial system. Now it also prevents coming together of unrelated organisms that is if some organism have a greater number of dissimilarities so those organisms are not included in a particular group. Now after this natural system of classification a new system of classification was put forward which is known as the phylogenetic or the 
phylogenetic system of classification. So this is a system of classification which is a bit different because it uses characteristics which are based on evolutionary relationships. Now in this system of classification the most importantly is they use Darwin's book which has got theories based on evolution. So the name of the book is on the origin of species by means of natural selection the preservation of flavored favored races in struggle of life and this book was published in the year 1859. Now let us talk about the difference between the natural system and the phylogenetic system of classification. In natural system of classification we have already discussed that it is mostly based on the resemblance and differences among our organisms. But in case of phylogenetic system it is mostly using it is done mostly using the possible evolutionary uh, traits or a difference in the evolutionary traits. A very important point to be noted here is in case of natural system fossils do not play a major role but as compared to phylogenetic system in phylogenetic system fossils play a vital role in tracing the evolutionary relationships like in case of like dinosaurs our, uh, our primitive uh, man. So those information about organisms which we haven't encountered, which we haven't seen. So those are possible only by the method of phylogenetic system of classification. So in this video, we have discussed about different types of classification. First, we have talked about the artificial system of classification. So this system had some difficulties or drawbacks, which was put forward or overcome by the natural system of classification. Now more advancement was done by the phylogenetic system of classification and we have also talked about the difference between the natural and phylogenetic system of classification. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.